Hello, everyone, and Happy New Year from me, Andy Wolverton at Journeys in Darkness and Light. And today I've got a whirlwind version of the new releases for January 2023. We actually have very little from the classic noir era, but I hope you'll find something here to enjoy. Starting on January the 3rd, we've got a release from France on a Region B disc. But right now, this is the only place you can get this film on Blu-ray. And I'm talking about Little Odessa from 1994, directed by James Gray. In fact, it's Gray's directorial debut. Tim Roth plays Joshua, a hitman for the Russian Mafia, who returns home to his Russian family in Brooklyn, a place he hasn't been since his father banned him from the family after learning of Joshua's lifestyle. It's going to be quite a family reunion. This film, also featuring Vanessa Redgrave and Maximilian Schell, won the Silver Lion at the Venice Film Festival in 1994. Not bad for your first film. Apparently, there's a rights issue that keeps this film from being released in North America on Blu-ray, and it appears the only extra on this release from the French label Metropolitan is a half-hour interview with director James Gray, which I assume is in English. If you're a fan of the film and want to own it, this may be your best chance, at least for the foreseeable future. If you want to check it out first, it's on Tubi, and you can watch it there. On January the 10th, we've got a film that was pushed back from late 2022, Warning Shot from 1967, coming to us from Kino Lorber. I discussed this one back in the November 2022 video, so you can check that out for more details. On January the 17th, arriving on 4K and Blu-ray in a combo from Paramount Presents, we have Double Jeopardy from 1999, directed by Bruce Beresford. Ashley Judd is convicted of murdering her husband, but she knows she's being framed. Or is she? Once she skips town looking for the real killer, her parole officer, played by Tommy Lee Jones, is hot on her trail. This new 4K restoration includes a new filmmaker focus with director Bruce Beresford, a making of featurette, and not much more. Also on January the 17th, Kino Lorber brings us No Mercy from 1986, directed by Richard Pierce, a film that was previously released in 2020 from Mill Creek. Richard Gere plays a cop trying to avenge his partner's death but finds he can't stay away from the murderer's girlfriend, played by Kim Basinger. The Mill Creek edition had zero extras, and unfortunately, the Kino has only one, besides a trailer, a new interview with actor Yaron Crabbe, who plays a crime lord in the film. You probably already have this in your collection, but consider picking up The Lady from Shanghai from 1947, from Kino Lorber, especially since this one includes new audio commentaries from Imogen Sarah Smith and Tim Lucas, as well as an archival commentary by Peter Bogdanovich and an interview with Bogdanovich from the year 2000. There's also comments from Eddie Muller and a few trailers. I've got the Indicator Blu-ray, maybe you do too, but I'm going to have to pick this up for the Imogen Smith and Tim Lucas commentaries. Okay, so it's not a film noir, but it is a heist film, and one that's needed a North American Blu-ray release for a long time. This is the original 1969 version of The Italian Job, starring Michael Caine and Noel Coward in his last film role. It's a lot of fun, especially the chase scenes. It's on Blu-ray and 4K separately, all of the extras are archival, but there's some good stuff on here, including two audio commentaries, one from screenwriter Troy Kennedy Martin and Matthew Field, author of Michael Caine, You're a Big Man, and another from Michael Field again, this time with producer Michael Dealey. 
There's also a 2002 documentary, a making of documentary, and more. We talked about the Kino release of Magre season one back in December, and Kino now delivers season two on January the 31st. Again, you can find out more from my December 2022 video. And that's going to do it for January 2023. Not a lot, but hang on, there will be more. Release dates often change, and if I hear of any news, I'll be sure to let you know. And if you know of any releases that I've missed, let me hear from you. Everyone have a great 2023, and watch some great movies. I'll see you next time.